Hey everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Blue with me, your host, John Garcia. The host with the most. And that is all. Uh, today we're going to be checking out what you can do with Surf. And I'm also going to rant. Um, turn it up a bit. Uh, basically, <laughs> um, I just want to talk about, uh, uh, basically, uh, what am I saying? Oh, what am I saying? What I'm saying is, um... There we got TM41, soft-boiled, only learnable by one Pokemon, which learns it naturally anyway. Total waste of a TM. Um, today I want to talk about, uh, my history class that I'm in. Um, if, here's the thing, um, that history class has one awesome person in it. Other than that, everyone in it sucks, and I very much dislike it. <laughs> Sorry, um... Uh, you people, but you know, I don't really like it that much. I mean, the teacher's all, the professor is alright. I shouldn't say teacher. <laughs> college. What is college? I take college. Um, but it's my history class, and it's a history, it's American history class, which, um, if you guys watch any of my, uh, oh, are you kidding me? You are kidding me. This is the one item that I really want for the rest of, well, I, okay, that's not, that's not entirely true. Uh, can we teach softball to anyone else? Because if not, I'm just gonna throw it out right now. Tell you what, toss that jank. Okay. Uh, anyway, there's one really cool person in there. Um, I say that not only because she's watching, but because she's cool. Uh, <laughs> this, uh, if I remember it right, yes, this is payday. Uh, remember we accidentally forgot it on Vinteraisa? Well, now Vinteraisa is gonna learn it again, and we're not gonna forget it this time because that would be a terrible thing. <sighs> Ah, uh, yeah. Um, let's just get rid of Screech. I never use Screech. Um, but now, Payday, if you guys remember, will give me back money equal to twice the level uh, of the Pokemon, so that's really good. Maybe I'll teach Toxic to something, too. Huh. Uh, anyway, um, so here's the thing. When you have an, a, a modern American history class, which we never talk about that in, like, actual... Uh, class or in like uh, history classes. I shouldn't say actual classes. You know, in high school history classes. Um, maybe I'll teach it to Rhinosaur. No, Rhinosaur is too much of a damage dealer. Let's give it to uh, Smitty. Yeah, let's give it to Smitty to uh, compliment Rap so that I can kill things faster. Um, we won't. We won't be able to use Stun Spore anymore, but Stun Spore was kind of not being used that much anyway. Um, so anyway, I hope I don't immediately regret this decision. Um, but that's all the surfing we'll do for now. We will do more surfing later, um, especially in a side quest that I'm going to be doing. Um, because, hey, gotta show off the uh, awesome side quests in this game. Um, Basi I've been ranting for a long time, and I haven't actually gotten to the subject hand. Um, basically, uh, when you have a modern history class, uh, you're going to get to some issues that people actually, you know, debate. Um, and that sucks. This is going to be easy pickings, by the way, because we could have fought this a long time ago. I'm just going to... Um, I'm probably going to like skip half of these trainers and, uh, and fight them off-screen, but I just wanted to show you guys what some of the trainers around here are. Most of the guys here are, uh, we could have gone to Fuchsia City this way instead of, uh, the bike route, but this is a lot longer, a lot more trainers, um, so, you know, I wanted to get to Fuchsia as soon as possible to get Rhinosaur, um, and, you know, I didn't want to have to show off all this blah, 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 blah. You should have seen my face there. Oh, well. Uh, you see my face plenty. <laughs> I don't really make that many videos anymore. Um, that's, it's busy, whatever. Um, but yeah, so when you get contemporary issues, you get a lot of, um, ignorance. Uh, I live in a, a very conservative part of the state. Um, and as a college campus, yes, there are people who are, you know, intelligent. Um, but, I mean, I'm not, I'm, I don't mean to bash, like, all conservatives. I know a lot of people are conservative or moderate or whatever, and are perfectly fine people, um, and, 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 and all that, but I, uh, it, we're, we, you get a lot of, uh, uh, jerk faces. Um, basically, uh, 
so I'm, I'm just gonna tell you guys some stories of how uh, terrible it can get sometimes. Um, let's see. One time uh, we were talking about affirmative action and when that started after the civil rights movement. Um, and I, I, you guys uh, might not know this, but I, you know, I don't tend to like racism very much. Uh, big surprise there. Um, and civil uh, affirmative action, I believe, is a very um, important um, thing. And it's a good thing to have. And you can disagree with me, fine. But um, the fact is that the people who are disagreeing with it uh, in the class, like one of them, this guy who sits behind me and has the most annoying voice in the entire world. Like, he's some, I think he's like some spoiled rich kid. Um, no offense if you're rich, but if you're spoiled, all the offense, please. Um, and he just, he sounds like this, like he's constantly kind of just being lazy and it's really annoying and it's just, every time I hear his voice, it is a cheese grater on my soul. Um, so that aside, Oh look, we would have had to go past the Snorlax, but I don't feel like fighting a Snorlax. I'm just gonna surf around it. Handy tricks! But you you do have to have the Poke Flute, obviously, because he can't get surfed before that. Um, oh, we're gonna have to fight this dude. Um, but anyway, so uh, he was like, you know, you can protest to affirmative action in a lot of ways that make you know some sense. But he was just like, yeah, like in India, they made the test for people to get in easier so that black people could do it. And here's the thing, um, that, I mean, can you not see the implications there, sir? Can you not see the implications of you saying that the test has to get easier so that black people could pass it? I mean, no, the point isn't that, the point of affirmative action is not because, like, minorities or, you know, women or whatever are failing to get in because they're bad at things. The point is that, you know, you want to kind of even out, um, I feel bored of Smitty. Uh, Oni B, destroy this electrode! Um, but, uh, yeah, the point is the, to even things out. And, uh, apparently he thought the point was that, um, minorities are stupid. That's the moral of that class that day. Um, and, uh, this class is the source of some of my best tweets about how grading it is. Um, but today, we discussed, um, something that uh, probably more of you people would- Oh, God! No! Don't kill me! Self-destruct is the second most powerful move in the game, and, of course, it one-shots Oni B. Ah, you fragile thing, you. Whatever, we're not gonna use Oni B that much. I can always go heal him off-screen. Um... Him? I don't know. What's Oni B's gender, you guys? Let me know in the comments. Ugh. This guy will give you the Super Rod, which is the best uh, rod in the game. Um, and oddly enough, if you come the other way, uh, Fuchsia City is where you get the good rod, and the Super Rod's better. So, yeah, that doesn't make much sense, but I'm not going to do much fishing anyway because I don't want to put any Pokemon on my team that are exclusive to fishing because... Um, I don't really like the fishing mechanic in these games. Sorry, I'm not gonna go there. I would have to cut to go there. I don't really feel like doing any of that. Same with that patch of grass. Nope. So once you get past this little harbory thing, um, you you start to okay. You know what? I'm not gonna fight you, people. I'm a cheat instead. Uh, <laughs> surfing solves all your problems. What? No, that is not how life works. What? No, I'm in the water! Ah, Stupid. Um, but yeah. <laughs> Basically, um, we were talking about the 90s and the movement, or not even just the 90s, like the 80s too, and the movement of, like, evangelical Christianity and, like, uh, the big bag, back, blah, 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 backlash against, like, gay rights and stuff. Because, uh, I don't know if you guys knew this, but, uh, there are some people who, like, don't like that people are gay. Um... I'm not exactly sure, like, why, because, I mean, it's not like they're making them gay or anything. I mean, if they are, then they probably have some sort of psychological issue they need to work out. Maybe they, they were gay in the first place, I don't know. Um, this is a slew of lower-level Pokemon. Let's just set Vinteraisa. Handle them with payday! Meowth versus Meowth, eh? I wonder which will win. Probably the one that's 14 levels higher. <laughs> Spoiler alert. Mine is the bone. 
do 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 I saw a girl level, yeah! Yeah, 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 yeah! That's what I say. Okay, anyway, um, so we were talking and we got to the topic of like gay marriage and stuff, and this just this nincompoop in the class is like, well, like, the thing is that a lot of Christians don't want gay people to get married, and I'm sitting there like, yeah, well, some Christians do want gay people to be married, and even if they didn't, I mean, what if the gay people aren't Christian? I mean, there's a lot of people in the United States that aren't Christian. I didn't know if you know the know this. Yes, that's logical. I don't know if you knew this, but um, the world does not 100% believe the same thing. Um, I know, right? It's 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 weird, but uh, it's true, and uh, you should kind of uh get used to it because it's how it's always going to be and always has been. Um. Well, maybe not always have, maybe not when there were, like, only a few people. Maybe they all believe the same thing. I don't know. Um, I don't know about early humanity, but still, uh, uh, and so that's the first thing he said. And then he said, see, I want to give this guy the benefit of the doubt. I want to believe, you know, he was just bad at phrasing his opinion. But he said, um... Children don't learn essential things about gender roles from their from parents if their parents are the same gender. No, Vintaraisa, you're not evolving. You're not done being cute yet. Yes. Yes. Keep being cute, my pretty. And by pretty, I mean cute. So you have those trainers. You also have around here, uh, there's some of these lady trainers, but most of the dude trainers um, that you're going to find here, around here are bird trainers. Uh... They, they raise Pokemon that look like birds, in case you didn't know. Uh, that's... Spoiler alert! Um, I always go with bird Pokemon! Uh, fun fact! Um, birds, uh... Uh, birds... Um, was, bird was the original name of the flying type. Um, sorry, I got distracted. Um, and, uh, they changed it after the beta. There is still something in this game, um... I probably won't be able to show it off, but there is a glitch Pokemon in this game that still has a type as bird, um, which is, which is kind of, I don't know, that, that there's a little fun fact for you. Um, so yes, and there are some people who say bird Pokemon as if bird was like a, uh, a letter that should be capitalized. Why do I still have, uh, Smitty out for these opponents? They're, uh, they're big birds. They shouldn't be, uh, big birds. <laughs> They shouldn't be fought with a plant. Plants are weak against birds pecking off their faces. Did you not know that? Come on, Smitty. Anyway, um, so this guy says that because children don't learn things about, you know, gender stereotypes from their parents, um, they, uh, that they, they, he said, I think having gay parents is kind of like a form of abuse. And here's the thing, today's been a really good day, uh, today, by today I mean yesterday, because I'll be uploading this tomorrow when I have better internet access, um, but, like, I was really giggly because I saw a cute child on the bus that morning, um, and then I, uh, I saw this guy, and, uh, like, I was, I was still in a giggly mood, I mean, I've been in a pretty good mood all day, actually, it's been a very good day, um, but he, uh, I wanted to laugh at him so hard, and yes, there are some secret items, and <laughs> it said pee-pee. Aren't we all laughing? I'm laughing. I don't know about you guys. Um, so, I don't know why Saf Saffron City is always assumed to be, like, the latest city. I don't know why it does that. Um, let's heal up really quick so that we can use Oni B. Um, because this is a good place to level up Oni B, too. Really, um, this, this, these few routes between, uh, Lavender and Fuchsia City are very good for leveling up your Pokemon, because they have, um, they have water type Pokemon, they have flying type Pokemon, they have a lot of normal type Pokemon, and they have a lot of uh, grass type Pokemon. And between those, I mean, you ought to have some uh, some good type advantages. Like, every one of my team has a type advantage against at least one of those. Um, so there you go. Uh, I think someone's waving at me uh, from away. I think it's my roommate. Whatever. Um, 
But yes, uh, he's probably gonna come in on recording and be like, oh, how's it going? Um, but yes, it, uh, he said, uh, having gay parents is a form of abuse, and I wanted to, uh, I wanted to, I, 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 I laughed and facepalmed so much, um, and it was silly to try and debate with him. Uh, but yes, these trainers have grass Pokemon. I really don't want to continue recording in front of my roommate, like, nothing, nothing against him, but yeah. So, I will see you guys later.